Hi, I'm Florian Kohler, professional pool trick shot artist, and this is Virtual versus Real. In this series, I'm trying to recreate in real life a shot a fan sent me from the video game Able Pool by Miniclip. Today's shot is coming from Pakistan, and the guy's name is Sheriar. I'm sorry if I butchered the name, this is pretty tough for me, but the shot itself is really cool, so let's have a look. This is, uh, it looks like a shot going into the side pocket, the point of the side pocket, a ball comes straight back into the corner. So this is kind of what we call the Efren point shots when usually we use the cue ball to go into the point to go in a separate direction. In this case, it's gonna be the object ball, so much more difficult. The setup itself is pretty simple. We only need two balls. So the eight ball, I'm gonna go and put it about right here. Uh, kind of hard to say again from the video game, but it looks pretty close, so it's definitely not on the diamond and it's not def definitely not closer here. And as far as the cue wall goes, I think we're gonna go right here, as again, this is what it looks like. So from there, really, all I gotta do is try to hit the cue ball into the eight. The eight's gonna have to hit exactly the point of the side pocket there to go straight back to the corner. Let's see how long it takes. Second try, guys. Uh, it looked pretty simple, but you know, again, sometimes it is harder than it looks. So this was a cool shot. Uh, a little easier than usual, I'd say. Well, I kind of feel a little bad for you guys because this was so easy, this went too quick, so it wasn't much of a video. So I decided to do a second shot from the same person because he sent me a couple ones, they're really good. Uh, this one, however, it looks a lot more difficult. So let's have a look at it. It is a multi-roll shot and I can't even tell what happened on the first try, so let's see it again. It looks like short, long, 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 short, boom, a ball. Wow. Uh, guys, don't get your hopes too high on that one because it looks insane, but I definitely want to give it a go and see what happens. Also again for the setup, we only need two balls, the cue ball and the a ball. Looks like the cue ball is somewhere around here. I'll say probably a ball, ball and a half away from the diamonds, really close at least. Now the A-ball seems to be pretty much close as well on the other side. It looks to be a little off the rail and about a diamond and a half up. So this is pretty much all it is from the setup. Now the shot itself is completely insane. Short rail, long rail, long rail, long rail, long rail, short rail, A-ball. So obviously, you know, that short rail here is kind of an extra. So if I go there, that works. But this in the middle is completely insane. So one of the biggest issues I'm worried about is you have to hit that so hard that I'm actually kind of worried for the camera crew that's behind there because they might get hit by a few balls, but let's see. All right, this is take one, guys. gonna be dangerous, I knew it was. All right, we barely avoided disaster here. Whew. Sorry guys. Okay, so as you can see here, we got the right rails, but there is strictly no way in real life that my cue ball is going to have enough power to hit the eight ball, and I'm hitting as hard as I can. So what I'm gonna do in order to switch that, I'm gonna try 
to move the cue ball frozen to the rail. I know it's not the same as the, the, the shot, you know, that uh, that we had in the video, but it's gonna be really close. What's gonna do here with having the cue ball on the rail is gonna forbid the cue ball to jump. At least that's the theory. So let's do a few tries here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have the same exact problem here, even frozen to the rail. My cue ball is simply losing too much power because of friction. So what's going on here compared to the video game is we have friction in real life. Now on top of that, my felt has been a little abused, my claw has been a little used, so I don't have exactly the speed. So realistically, this shot is quite frankly not possible in the condition that I have on the table. So I would need a brand new felt, brand new rails, brand new balls and uh, probably having the cue ball right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ball, the A ball on a piece of chalk here, because as you can see, my cue ball touched the eight. So I had something. So sometimes when you hit the ball on the chalk, it will knock it up and off like this. So we're gonna try a couple times here, see if we can hit the A ball. Again, frozen there, so obviously it's not the same shot anymore again, but just because the rails is pretty cool. So let's see if we can make it at least this way. There you go, guys. So you had a little bit of an insight of what I kind of do for trick shots. So in this case, the shot was really cool, but truly impossible in real life, simply because friction, physics, and you know, my table condition is not the best. So I kind of showed you, you know, the way that we adjusted, put in a cue ball there, and then, you know, when there is no power enough, then we put in a piece of chalk, and that makes it work. So, you know, honestly, I think I did pretty good on the very first shot. Second shot was a bonus anyway, so I'll call it good. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoy. Sharing here my friend, the shots were pretty good. The first one was uh, quite easy, but the second one really truly an impossible shot. Uh, I, I hope I mimicked enough to try to capture the cue ball for you guys, but uh, this really was impossible in real life. So I think it's the first time in all 12 episodes. As usual, any comments, make sure you comment below, and I'll see you next time for episode 13. See you later guys.